Hello there and welcome to Bo Beats. My name is Bo and this is the best synthesizers and music gear of 2018. Welcome to the Bo Beats Synthesizer and Music Tech Award Show. But first, we need a sip of the coffee. Hello, Bo. Last year, I just took my favorite picks and put it in a video, but this year you guys have nominated, you have voted, we had almost a thousand votes being cast, and I also have a lot of cool guest judges that I think you've seen on YouTube before, and if you haven't, they're linked down below in the description. Let's pick the best synths and music gear of 2018. Best MIDI keyboard. Hey guys, once upon a synth here. So Bo asked me to share my thoughts on the best MIDI controller of 2018. So I went through a thrift shop a couple of months ago and I found this little MIDI controller by this unknown company. I think they're Australian. It's called Moog. And there's this grandmother MIDI controller that they make, which is pretty cool. So let me show you how it works. So effectively, you just grab this red cable here. You plug one end in the back and you plug the other end into your computer. And now you can play piano. And what's cool about this MIDI controller, unlike other MIDI controllers, is that there's this Easter egg feature, which is not very common, but there's this hole in the back here. So what I tried to do is I just found this cable, so I plugged it into the hole, and now it actually produces sounds. Very unusual little Easter egg for MIDI controllers, but nice touch, thanks Moog. All right, in all seriousness, if you're looking for a MIDI controller, please don't buy the grandmother. It's way overpowered if that's all you need. But for MIDI controllers, what I personally use is a combination of synthesizers and dedicated small compact controllers. For example, I like this Korg Micro Key, which has a really nice feeling keyboard, especially for its tiny size. The other MIDI controller I like a lot is the Arturia Key Step. And what's cool about this one is it has MIDI and also CV and gate, so you can use it to control your rack or analog gear in general. As for the new 2018 stuff, check out the Innovation SL Mark III. So I haven't personally tried that one, but a lot of people praised it, and I have the Innovation Mark II, and that one feels really good. So if it's anything like that, I would definitely recommend it. They make really solid keyboard actions. And the other MIDI controller that caught my attention that I definitely want to check out at some point is the Studio Logic SL73, which came out this year. And it's a hammer action keyboard, but it's 73 keys. So it's more compact than your full grand piano. All right, that wraps it up for me. Thanks again, Bo, for asking me to be a part of this video. You guys have a happy holiday. Don't stress too much about gear. Just have fun, make music, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you so much for those words and the winner of the popular vote, best MIDI keyboard of 2018 is the Novation SL Mark III with 47% of the votes. So congratulations Novation for making a great MIDI keyboard. Now let's move on to another category. Now this is the best drum machine. Hey, what's good everyone? Enrique here, and it's a true pleasure to be with you all. Bo Beats gave me the task to choose the best drum machine between the Drumbrew Impact, the TR-8S, and the Moog DFAM. Um, I may get roasted for this, but instantly the DFAM is out for me. It's obviously the Moog DFAM, mate. Come on. It's ace. So with that out, that just leaves us two options, the Drumbrew Impact or the TR-8S. This is an insanely hard decision for me to make because on one hand, I'm addicted to samplers and on the other, I love analog drum machines because they have such a unique sound to themselves and they make you really think of creative ways to get the most out of them. The drum brute does have a really good quick sequencer and a bunch of cool ways to kind of freak the sounds out. But where I love the TR-8S is in its speed and flexibility. For example, being able to put your own samples in the drum machine and have enough control over the samples themselves to make them unique, but not get lost in the sauce of fine tuning your ADSR or mod matrixy sound design stuff. It just kind of keeps you in the sweet spot of where the sound should be and gives you enough control to make the sound your own. Oh, and on another side note, I feel that every drum machine from 2019 should have sliders on them to control the volumes. That single feature alone is why I love the TR-8S so much, because it's just so fun to play as a drum machine, especially in a live situation. So with that being said, I think I'm going to have to chalk it up to the TR-8S for being the epitome of what a drum machine should be. Peace. Thank you so much for your picks in the best drum machine category. Now on to the popular vote. And this one is interesting because it's a tie. It's a tie between the Arturia Drum Brute Impact and the Roland TR-8S. And I'm sorry, Mylar, uh, the, the DFAM, as many votes as it got, you know, didn't quite get there. Come on. 
So best drum machine of 2018 is either the Drum Brute Impact from Arturia or the Roland TR8S. Best product from a small manufacturer. Hi. I'm Ziv and I run the YouTube channel LoopUp. Thanks Bo for inviting me to pick my favorite product from a small slash indie developer for 2018. Let's get started. Of the products I reviewed, my second runner up is the Wave Ring by Genki. It's a motion control ring with programmable buttons that sends out MIDI over Bluetooth. I tried out their Indiegogo prototype and it worked really nicely and they later showed off a companion Eurorack module and as happens with prototypes their product is delayed but they seem to be committed and if they pull it off it'll be quite a fun product. My first runner up is this LFO module from Voices Modular. Now there are LFOs with way more stuff in them. Voices was going for price and simplicity rather than features, though it does have this cool twist in it where you can replace the capacitors and change the LFO rate without any soldering to go from extremely slow rates to fast rates to with something like this anywhere in between. And drumroll, my favorite indie slash small developer product for 2018 is the Continue Mini from Haken Audio. This is a Kickstarter project that just wrapped up and the product seems very complete. The early birds were promised units within a few weeks. The Continue Mini is a super portable, extremely sensitive, expressive instrument with an amazing built-in synth with hundreds of presets tailored to make the most of the playing surface. If you have a chance, check it out. That's it for me. Don't forget to hit like and click Bo's subscribe button. Thank you, Lupop, for telling us about your picks. Now, the winner of the popular vote in best indie product or product from a very small manufacturer goes to the Medusa from Polyand and Dreadbox. And this synthesizer got 30% of the votes. And it's actually a synth I just now got in the studio. So I'll be making some content for that synth next year. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's move on to another category. Best audio interface. Hello there, mate. Bo here, Bo Beats. I need somebody to make a funny video about, uh, about the best audio interface in 2018. No, no, no. Best synth is already picked. Best drum machine also already picked. Hello there, uh, Bo from Bo Beats here. Uh, hello. So the winner in this not so sexy category Best audio interface of 2018 was voted by you guys to be the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre USB version with 37.1%. It's a clear winner. Congratulations, Focusrite, for making yet another great audio interface. This year's best groove box. And the winner in the groove box category, my favorite category, is without a shadow of a doubt. The Electron Digitone with 61.1% of the votes. So I'll just let Jade take it away. Hey guys, this is Jidwoo from Dallas Jamming and my pick for the best synthesizer of 2018 is the Electron Digitone. So if you followed me last year in NAMM, you know how hyped I was about this announcement. I just got this a few months ago and it's pretty much been used on every single lo-fi track in my new album. So with that being said, I'll leave you with a little sneak peek of one of the songs on my album that features the Digitone. Best controller. Best controller of 2018. So the winner of the popular vote, best controller of 2018, goes to the Novation SL Mark III with 33% of the vote. So congratulations, Novation, yet again. And I think an honorable mention is in order, coming in at second place with 26% of the votes, is the Expressive E Touche. So congratulations to them as well, making it to the second place. Bo Beats. It's accurate here, having a really hard time to decide which was my favorite controller of 2018. There are almost too many different types of controllers out there. You can control a DAW with a controller, you can control a VST or AU plugin with a controller, you can control your TV with a remote control, but I guess I'm kind of the only one on a list like this that would shine some light on 
the Tractor Control S4 from Native Instruments. And even though I'm really not considering myself to be a DJ, I am using this one on pretty much every YouTube video and every track that I'm working on right now. I'm gonna use this one way more in the future for live purposes and doing live beat showcases and that sort of stuff. But it's also hooked up here in my home studio 24-7 for putting down some scratches on top of my instrumental tracks. Now come on, it's a pretty large DJ controller for tractor with motorized jog wheels. What more can you ask for? Well, I really don't know, but that is my favorite controller of 2018. Best Euro Rack Module Hey, it's Andrew Huang, here to name my Eurorack module of the year. This is a module that I don't think got nearly enough love for what it is capable of. My favorite module of 2018 is Synapse from Qubit. I love switches and this can do anything you want a four-way switch to do. The kind of cool additional feature that they've added in though is the ability to crossfade between two different signals on each of the four channels. And then you can jumble all the inputs between these four outputs. There's also combined outputs for channels one and two, three and four, and all four. You can save a bunch of different configurations and move through them. There's inertia to kind of slew between these different changes. And all that is really just covering the switch functionality, but you could also use this as a mixer of up to eight signals, whether CV or audio. You could use it as a quad VCA. It's even got some basic LFOs built in. So that's why I call it a super utility. It's something that I think could be used in anybody's system. Synapse from Qubit, module of the year. Come check out my channel if you get a moment, but for now, back to Bo. Thank you so much, Andrew, for those words. Before we announce the winner of the popular vote, I just want to throw it over to another YouTuber who really knows his Euro rack. Gotta look good for Bo. This is like meeting the Queen. It seems a tie is appropriate. No Bo has high standards. Hey Bo, thanks for asking me to come on and uh, share some of my picks for gear of the year. Really hard to pick with all this stuff around. Uh, and I'm gonna be cheeky and name more than one thing, but my gear of the year, module of the year. I should have brought in a snare drum and done my own drum roll. The Synthesis Technology E370 Quad Morphing VCO. I've had a ton of fun with this. It was a central part of my first ever live or modular gig. Um, I'll put a picture on screen of that case set up. Using all four voices to make some lovely chord tones. Seriously aided by the Harmonig from Instruo. Amazing single input quantizer that gives you four outputs, musical root third fifth, lots of CV over it. They're a really potent pairing. And these are on my first release with DIN Records on Tone Science. Just a little preview of the track Natural Minor Signs, and they're also part of a release I've got planned for next year. Here's a little teaser. So cheers, Bo. Have a lovely end to the year, everyone, and see you in the next one. And the winner of Best Eurorack Module 2018 by popular vote is the Strymon Magneto. Now it was close competition. For example, Dove Audio WTF Oscillator was up there, got a lot of votes. We also have the mutable instruments, marbles, for example, and plates. And we even have two HP Cat, which, which didn't get that many votes though. So, yeah, I guess that's what happens when you leave it up to the internet to nominate. But a, Big, big congratulations to Strymon Magneto, who won with a whooping 19.3% of the votes. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Best Music Production App. So the winner in the Best Music App category for iOS or Android goes to a Swedish company and their product, Reason Compact. So congratulations. They got 38% of the votes. Now, let's go over to a friend of mine, a great YouTuber, who really knows a thing or two about mobile music making. Hello there, Jakob Hack from Hack Attack here, and I want to nominate Noir as one of the best apps from 2018. I don't subscribe to the best, but it is the one that inspired me the most this year, actually. It's a drum synthesizer, and it's really powerful.
After launching it on my iPad for the first time, I had a new track within an hour. Two oscillators, each of them have three waveforms, and one of them has an added TR-808 type hi-hat circuit, so you can make some awesome hi-hats with it. Best Portable Synthesizer. And the winner of Best Portable Synthesizer 2018 is not really a surprise to anybody. It is the Teenage Engineering OPZ with 43% of the votes. So congratulations, Teenage Engineering. Now, let's pass it over to my friend, Noir. Hey guys, so you know me. I'm not the biggest fan of having tons and tons of synths just lying around the studio. But in 2018, I reviewed a laundry list of synthesizers. So when I was trying to whittle down my list to my top synth of 2018, it took a lot of time and effort. So my choice for the top synth for me of 2018 is, hmm, now which one? Mm-hmm. The IK Multimedia Uno. And why do you ask do I pick the Uno for my favorite synth? Well, as I said in my Halloween special this year, the IK Multimedia's portability and feature set for the price is just unparalleled. Under $200 gets you a multi-mode filter, tons of features like an arpeggiator and a sequencer, and what I really enjoy is that delay. I think that it's really fun for just looping on the go. The IK Multimedia Uno is maybe not for me all the time, but if you're on a plane, a train, or in somebody's back seat, I honestly think that the IK Multimedia Uno is the best choice. Don't think about something else until you've at least played the Uno for yourself. It might change your mind about portable synths. Best Hardware Effects Unit. Hello, this is Cuckoo. Uh, 2018 has been a wicked year, hasn't it? The thing that I want to highlight in this little spot here is the Zoya by Empress Effects. The Zoya is a modular puzzle. It's not out yet. We were hoping for a 2018 release, but it's, it's looking like it's gonna slip into 2019. But nevertheless, a very powerful little pedal where you can uh, modulate your own pedal effect. Uh, it doesn't have to be effect, it could be a synthesizer, it could be uh, like a modular workflow little machine. If you're familiar with the Nord um, Modular G2, it's a digital modular where you prepare everything in the computer. But here on the Zoya, all the building blocks are right there on the pedal. Uh, it works really well. And I contacted them and managed to, to be a beta tester for that as well. So I'm, I'm really pleased to see how it's coming along. The Zoya by Impress Effect is gonna be a, a bomb. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> and the winner of the popular vote of Best Hardware Effects 2018 goes to, and I swear I haven't tampered with the votes, but the winner of Best Hardware Effects 2018 is the Analog Heat Mark II with 29.2% of the votes. Maybe, just maybe, a little bit of Bow Beats viewer bias sneaking into the vote there, but I'm okay with it. And the best software goes to... Hi, my name is Jeremy, this is Red Beans Recording, and Bo asked me to weigh in on what my favorite must-have thing of 2018 was for music creation. I'm gonna wait for this plane. All the hardware stuff was already taken, all the modular stuff I have no clue about, um, and I haven't really bought any new 2018 synths this year uh, that I wanted to talk about. So my pick was something that I use in every single project. Uh, I couldn't live without it, and that is Isotope Ozone 8 Advanced. Um, Ozone is a mastering plugin. It has multiple little uh, components uh, of everything from a normal equalizer to dynamic equalizer to uh, various compressors and limiters, a fantastic maximizer, a tape thing, a saturator or exciter, all these components that you can rearrange and adapt to your mix to get the best possible sound, uh, either as a single or as like a collection of songs. I use it for every single project. I couldn't live without it. 
And finally, in Ozone 8 Advanced, there is this uh, mastering assistant thing, which you might be thinking of, well, that's dumb. Why would I want something to do something for me? But I guarantee you that you do, because basically you tell it whether or not you want to go to streaming, CD, or reference. It knows what LUFS setting that your mix should be at for that. It analyzes the track for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then applies a light series of processing to get your mix to the target luffs, but also give that maximizer some transparency by using a dynamic EQ to to start taking some of the unwanted frequencies out of your mix uh, over that period of time. It's an incredible tool. It sounds great. I use it all the time. So my pick of the year for music technology is Isotope Ozone 8 Advanced. Thank you so much for those words, Jeremy. And here's the winner of the popular vote of Best Software 2018. And the winner is, well, it's a tie between two very different kinds of software. One winner is Ableton 10, with its huge user base. It's really interesting to see that VCV Rack also got the same amount of votes. So we got a tie, VCV Rack and Ableton 10 are the winners in the popular vote of Best Software 2018. Now, let's go over to another friend of mine who'll make his pick. Hello, yes, I'm the Woody Piano Shack guy, and if you're a fan of my channel, then you probably already know that I'm a huge fan of the original Yamaha DX7. Oh, oh, I love that! I've got a lot of enjoyment from some DX7 FM synthesis related releases during 2018. Of course, recently we had the launch of the Yamaha Mod X. Mod X. Also, let's not forget earlier in the year when Arturia released their DX7V virtual soft synth version, which we compared to my original DX7 and played some tunes on. Arturia also released their CMI Fairlight virtual instrument, which got me really excited. So you might be surprised to learn that neither of those was my pick for 2018. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Bo only allowed me to pick one category, so I've chosen to vote for the best software of 2018. It's time to announce the winner. This product received a quiet update earlier in the year. It does include all of the DX7 sounds, plus the Fairlight sounds that we just talked about, and a whole bunch of extra vintage analog synthesizer sounds. My pick for best software 2018 goes to Arturia Analog Lab 3. Mind blown! Thank you very much, Bo, for having me on your channel, and keep up the great work. Cheerio. Best update. What's up guys, my name is Gabe Miller and I am guest judging for the best update of 2018. So, my pick for the best update is the Novation Circuit 1.7 firmware update. This added a few new features which kind of changed the game for the circuit, including the ability to have a note extend out into infinity, which is great if you're doing ambient or drone music. The ability to nudge notes forward small increments in time, so you can have weird wonky timings or triplets and the biggest one for me which is the ability to chain a lot of patterns together in whatever order you want this means that you can create much more organic intricate arrangements and even proper buildups and drops because you can set out the structure of the song in advance and then tweak a bunch of parameters as that structure goes along the novation circuit has always been surprisingly powerful and this update just takes that up another notch. It's changed the way I use it, pushed the kinds of songs I can make on it, and it's kept the circuit relevant in an increasingly competitive landscape. Thank you so much, Gabe, for those words. Now on to the popular vote. Best update of 2018 is the Novation, not circuit, but the Base Station 2 update, the 2.5 update. A well-deserved win there to Novation with 32.1% of the votes. Best Novation Circuit. Oh wait, that's the Novation Circuit. You all voted, and this year's best synthesizer is... And best synthesizer of 2018 is... A tie. 
a tie between David and Goliath, Bearing a Neutron and Mo Guan. They both got 16% of the votes and I think it's a fitting end to this year because it has been a year where we have been talking a lot about Behringer, their synths, their clones, but also about Moog and the Moog One being this massive flagship that it is. So I think it's a fitting end to this year. Hello, bro. I'm Marlo Melodies. You may know me from such hit podcasts as Why We Bleep. And I would say in this age of uncertainty, isn't it nice that we're able to say one thing with absolute certainty? That the synth of the year is obviously the Moog T-Fan, mate. Come on! Monotribe. Best Awards Show Announcer. Hey, that's me. I'm Jake Glazier. So, this was all I had for you today. Thank you, everybody who nominated, who voted. Thank you to the guest judges that have been super helpful and supportive. You can find links to them in the description. You know how that works. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want more content about synths and music production. And if you want to sponsor future content, head over to patreon.com slash bogbeats. That was all. Thank you, have a super pleasant day, and I'll see you in the next video. Are you ready for the Bob Eats Food Awards? Get that celery ready because... Oh, sorry. I thought this was Bob Eats.